Welcome everyone to your new tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the Italian club Inter Milan. Almost champions in Italy of course and uh, when I'm uh, making this video they need to play just one more match against Milan and if they win they will be the champions. So I thought well let's check them out and let's see uh, if I want to do something different compared to the first video that I made about Inter because I already made a video about them. Uh, because yeah, ratings are going up, going down, uh, players, new players maybe in winter, during winter transfer periods, stuff like that. So sometimes I'm making new videos about teams and I also got some requests for this team to make a new one. So here it is. But before I begin, I would really like you to ask a favor, drop a like under the video. It will be really helpful for me and my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and want to find your way back really easy, make sure that you are subscribed and notifications on. And if you like to buy a jersey or a kit, maybe from Inter Milan or maybe from another club or international team then check out the link in the description to google shop they sell amazing quality jerseys and kits i got a few of them myself as you can see here and i'm really happy with them 100 percent because else i would not recommend it of course and they are really really cheap so check it out the website and if you want to buy one then make sure that you use discount code mark for 12 percent extra off all right let's start with the formation for inter it's the 4222 formation uh, Sommer is the goalkeeper, of course. I'm using Dumfries on the right side of the defense. Uh, Pavar and Bastoni are my center backs, and Di Marco on the left side. Uh, I'm not using players like De Vrij as a center back. Uh, maybe Darmian can be, but uh, we also have this guy, Acerbi. He's really slow, like De Vrij, also not really fast. And uh, yeah, Bastoni, Pavar, both 73 um, pace. Same for Darmian, also 73, but uh, his defensive stats are a bit worse. And yeah, Pavar and Bastoni doing an amazing job. Then we have Di Marco on the left side and Dumfries on the right side. Also, Darmian is not better than these two guys. So that's why I'm using these four defenders and not the ones that are not in the squad. Um, then we are going to the midfield. Pretty tough decision because this team doesn't have a really good defensive midfielder. We have uh, Kalanoglu, he can play as a defensive midfielder, as you can see there at CDM, but he has high attacking work rate, medium defensive one, and also his stats, shooting, passing, dribbling. He is really attacking minded player, of course. 89 rated, so he is really good, uh, but he's not a defensive midfielder. Uh, Barella, the same, uh, not a really pure defensive midfielder. He's more like a box to box, high, high work rates, uh, all round stats, pretty good. Uh, but not really defensive but i choose to play with them both uh because there is not a really good uh alternative we have this guy fratesi he's also pretty nice medium medium work rates is not the best but can work 80 pace is good but defensive stats not really good uh, and then yeah check them out class we don't need to talk about him of course sensi uh, worse than Fatesi is, uh, uh, LZ is a bit compared to him. Uh, so as you can see, not a really good defensive midfielder. So we are working with a box-to-box -box player and an attacking-minded player. So keep that a bit in mind. Uh, then on the right side, we have Quadrado, a right winger. Well, he's a right attacking midfielder, but more playing like a winger. Uh, Mkhitaryan on the left side, he can also play CDM. Uh, but I choose to play Kalanoglu because Mkhitaryan is a bit faster so and he's playing on the left side so more pace on the side of the field that is what I like and not in the center of the field uh, if I need to choose of course and his defensive stats are also not really good Kalanoglu has 71 defending and Mkhitaryan only 57 so yeah that's the reason why I choose uh, it this way uh, we have two strikers, uh, Duram and Martinez are the strikers. And uh, then we have Arnautovic on the bench, of course. What I will do um, during the second half most times is uh, replace Martinez or Duram for Arnautovic, uh, replace uh, Fratesi for uh, Kalanogu or Barella, depends a bit on who is tired the most. And sometimes I'm using uh, Buchanan for his pace. He has 91 pace, which is really good. Uh, all his other stats are not really good. Um, but yeah, that is what it is. Um, but I replace him 9 out of 10 times for Mkhitaryan and sometimes switching Quadrado and uh, Buchanan then. Um, so we have a fresh attacking player with lots of pace. That is 
a really good weapon to have during the second half. All right, then we're going to the tactics. Uh, defensive style is balanced, team width 40, depth is 45, so pretty basic. Builder play also balanced, chance creation balanced. The width is 50, plays in the box five bars and corners are free kicks, both two bars. Uh, so yeah, what I already said, it's pretty basic, but this team, uh, yeah, it's a bit of uh, good players, but not really a specific fast or something to make runs with long ball or with fast buildup. Uh, also not uh, a team that you can pass the ball around uh, endless, uh, so also not um, playing like possession and slow build up or something, just balanced everything and yeah for me that did uh, the job the best way. Uh, then we're going to the instructions. Um, Dumfries, I have him on balance attack and overlap run because he's a really attacking minded right defender and that is what I like to use then. Uh, the other one, the Marco, is also really attacking minded but I don't want them to go both forward. So stay back while attacking for the Marco and Dumfries is on balance and overlap. Center backs are just default. Uh, Barella, he is just default, uh, high, high work rate, so he's going forward, he's coming back also. Uh, Kalanoglu, also default, uh, because he's more like playmaker, playing here with his passing skills and stuff, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so I already said, keep in mind, it is really attacking because Dumfries is going forward, Barella is going forward, Kalanoglu is going forward, so you only have these three guys on the back. If that is not working for you, then you can try out some things. Stay back for Dumfries, you can try. Stay back uh, for Barella. Uh, I would not recommend to do Kalanoglu, but for Barella, stay back while attacking and Dumfries going forward. Or maybe both. Uh, check out what's working best for you. But for me, I like really attacking football and that I uh, concede a goal because I'm playing attacking. I don't care that much. Uh, then I lose a wet a match because I was playing too attacking. I like that more than just winning matches with one or two nil or, or two one or something. Uh, I like to score goals and then you have to concede some times as well. Uh, then we're going to Cuadrado. He is on uh, get into the box for the cross only. Um, Mkhitaryan, he is just default, didn't change anything. Uh, then two strikers, I have Duram on getting behind. Uh, when I'm playing with two strikers, I always like one to make runs forward because he's making the runs, center backs are going after him, he's creating space with the runs for all the other players, so it's easier to build up your attacks, else it would be really static if both are uh, just standing there. Uh, Martinez, he is just on default. Uh, I choose this way, Duram making the runs and Martinez not because Duram is faster. 85 pace and Martinez only 80. So uh, yeah, easy choice uh, for me. Um, yeah, and that's it for uh, Inter Milan. The way that I like to play with this team. Check it out yourself, try it out yourself, and let me know in the comments if you tried it out, what your results were. I'm really curious about that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.